Welcome back to another exciting video of CyberWorld YT. Today we're diving deep into the world of cybersecurity, specifically looking at how hackers target TikTok accounts. We'll be exploring three surprisingly easy methods hackers use, so smash that like button, subscribe to CyberWorld YT and let's get started. Before we get into the nitty gritty, a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Hacking into someone else's account is illegal and unethical, and we do not condone it. Our goal is to raise awareness and educate you on the tactics hackers use so you can better protect yourself. All right, let's jump into the first method, social engineering. Now, social engineering might sound complicated, but it's really just a fancy term for manipulation. It's the art of deceiving people into giving up confidential information or performing actions that they wouldn't normally do. This can be done through various means, such as emails, phone calls, or even face-to-face -face interactions. Think of it like this. Instead of breaking down a door, a social engineer picks the lock. They don't need brute force. They rely on psychological manipulation to get what they want. It's like a mental game of chess, where the social engineer is always thinking several moves ahead. They use clever tactics to trick people into handing over their keys, metaphorically speaking, of course. These keys could be passwords, personal information, or even access to secure systems. The goal is to exploit human vulnerabilities rather than technical ones. One common social engineering tactic is impersonation. This involves pretending to be someone else to gain trust and access. For example, a scammer might pose as a company executive, a trusted colleague, or even a family member in distress. Imagine getting a DM from someone who looks like they're from TikTok support. The message might have the company's logo and even use official sounding language to make it seem legitimate. They might say there's been suspicious activity on your account and ask for your login details to verify your identity. This is a classic phishing tactic designed to make you panic and act quickly without thinking. Sounds convincing, right? But here's the thing. Legitimate companies will never ask for your password in a DM, ever. They have secure methods for handling such issues and will never request sensitive information through insecure channels. This is a huge red flag. If you ever receive such a message, it's crucial to stop and think before you act. Verify the sender's identity through official channels and never give out personal information unless you're absolutely sure it's safe. Another common tactic is creating fake scenarios. These can be anything from fake contests and giveaways to fraudulent job offers and emergency requests for help. Hackers might create a fake contest or giveaway and ask you to follow a link or download a file to enter. These links and files are often designed to look legitimate, but they can be loaded with malicious software. And you guessed it, that link or file. Yeah, it's probably loaded with malware designed to steal your information. Once installed, this malware can monitor your activities, capture your keystrokes, and even take control of your device. The key takeaway here is to be cautious. Always be skeptical of unsolicited messages, especially those that ask for personal information or prompt you to click on links or download files. Don't trust everything you see online and always double check before clicking on links or downloading files, even if they seem to be from a trusted source. Take a moment to verify the authenticity of the message and the sender. Look for signs of phishing such as misspellings, generic greetings, and suspicious URLs. Additionally, use strong unique passwords for each of your accounts and enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. This adds an extra layer of security and makes it harder for attackers to gain access to your information. Educate yourself about common social engineering tactics and stay informed about the latest scams. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to recognize and avoid these threats. If you ever encounter a suspicious message or think you might have been targeted by a social engineer, report it to the appropriate authorities or your company's IT department. They can help you take the necessary steps to protect your information and prevent further attacks. Remember, staying vigilant and informed is your best defense against social engineering. By understanding the tactics used by social engineers and taking proactive steps to protect your information, you can reduce the risk of falling victim to these manipulative schemes. Okay, so we've talked about social engineering, which targets people's weaknesses. Social engineering is all about manipulating human psychology to gain unauthorized access to systems or data. It involves tactics like phishing, pretexting, and baiting, 
where attackers trick individuals into revealing confidential information or performing actions that compromise security. This method relies heavily on the human element, exploiting trust, fear, or curiosity to achieve its goals. Now let's talk about exploiting software vulnerabilities, which targets the weaknesses in the code itself. Unlike social engineering, which manipulates people, this approach focuses on the technical flaws within the software. These vulnerabilities can be anything from coding errors to design flaws that create security gaps. Hackers use various tools and techniques to identify and exploit these weaknesses, often automating the process to scan for known vulnerabilities across multiple systems. Think of it like this. Every piece of software, including TikTok, is built with lines of code, and sometimes there are tiny mistakes or oversights in that code. These mistakes can be as simple as a misplaced character or as complex as a logic error that only occurs under specific conditions. Even the most experienced developers can overlook these issues, which is why rigorous testing and code reviews are essential. However, despite best efforts, some vulnerabilities slip through the cracks. These mistakes, these vulnerabilities, are like cracks in a wall. Just as a small crack can compromise the structural integrity of a building, a minor flaw in the code can open the door to significant security risks. Over time, if these cracks are not addressed, they can widen, making it easier for attackers to exploit them. This is why continuous monitoring and maintenance of software are crucial to ensure its security. Hackers can exploit these cracks to gain unauthorized access to the system. They use various methods, such as injecting malicious code, exploiting buffer overflows, or taking advantage of unpatched software. Once inside, they can move laterally within the network, escalating their privileges and gaining access to more sensitive areas. This can lead to data breaches, financial loss, and damage to the company's reputation. Now, finding these vulnerabilities is no easy feat. It requires a deep understanding of coding and software architecture. Security researchers and ethical hackers spend countless hours analyzing code, running tests, and using specialized tools to uncover these hidden flaws. They often work in teams, combining their expertise to identify and mitigate potential threats before they can be exploited by malicious actors. It requires a deep understanding of coding and software architecture. This knowledge allows them to think like attackers, anticipating the methods they might use to exploit vulnerabilities. They also need to stay updated on the latest security trends and emerging threats, as the landscape is constantly evolving. Continuous learning and adaptation are key to staying ahead of potential attackers. But once a vulnerability is found, it can be exploited to gain access to sensitive data, including user accounts. This data can include personal information, financial details, and other confidential records. In the wrong hands, this information can be used for identity theft, financial fraud, or even sold on the dark web. The consequences of such breaches can be devastating for both individuals and organizations. Think of it like this. Imagine a hacker finds a vulnerability that allows them to bypass TikTok's login system. This means they can access user accounts without needing the correct credentials. They can view private messages, post unauthorized content, and even change account settings. The impact of such an exploit can be far-reaching, affecting millions of users and undermining trust in the platform. Suddenly, they have access to millions of accounts without needing a single password. This level of access can be used to spread misinformation, launch further attacks, or manipulate user data. The potential for harm is enormous, which is why protecting against such vulnerabilities is a top priority for any software company. That's why it's crucial for companies like TikTok to constantly update their software and patch these vulnerabilities as soon as they're discovered. Regular updates and patches are essential to close security gaps and protect users. Companies often release security advisories to inform users about the updates and encourage them to install them promptly. This proactive approach helps to minimize the risk of exploitation. It's like fixing those cracks in the wall before someone can exploit them. By addressing vulnerabilities quickly, companies can prevent potential attacks and ensure the safety and security of their users. This ongoing process of identifying, patching, and monitoring is a critical aspect of maintaining robust cybersecurity in an ever-changing digital landscape. All right, let's move on to the third and final method, brute force attacks. Now, brute force attacks are exactly what they sound like. 
using brute force to crack passwords. Imagine a thief trying every possible key combination on a lock until they find the right one. That's essentially what a brute force attack is, but instead of keys, hackers use automated tools to try thousands, even millions of password combinations per second. Now you might be thinking, my password is pretty complex. Surely a brute force attack wouldn't work on it, right? Well, here's the thing. The longer and more complex your password, the harder it is to crack. But if your password is something simple, like password123, which, let's be honest, many people use, it could be cracked in a matter of seconds. That's why it's so important to use strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts. And by strong, I mean at least 12 characters long, with a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Brute force attacks are not just limited to individual accounts. Hackers often target databases containing multiple user accounts, making the potential damage even more significant. When a database is breached, hackers can use brute force attacks to crack weak passwords and gain access to sensitive information. This is why it's crucial to not only have strong passwords, but also to change them regularly and use different passwords for different accounts. One effective way to manage your passwords is by using a password manager. These tools can generate and store complex passwords for you, so you don't have to remember them all. Password managers can also alert you if any of your passwords have been compromised in a data breach, allowing you to take immediate action. Another layer of protection is enabling two-factor authentication, 2FA, on your accounts. This adds an extra step to the login process, making it much harder for hackers to gain access. With 2FA, even if a hacker manages to crack your password, they would still need the second factor, such as a code sent to your phone to access your account. In summary, while brute force attacks are a significant threat, there are several steps you can take to protect yourself. Use strong, unique passwords, change them regularly, use a password manager, and enable two-factor authentication. By taking these precautions, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to a brute force attack and keep your online accounts secure. Stay safe online and remember your digital security is in your hands. So there you have it, folks. Three surprisingly easy ways hackers can hack TikTok accounts. Remember, knowledge is power. And now that you know the methods hackers use, you can take steps to protect yourself. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more cybersecurity tips and tricks. Stay safe online, use strong, unique passwords, and for an extra layer of security, enable two-factor authentication on all your accounts. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and keep those TikTok accounts secure.